be in Carolina in the morning. Not the country finer than to be in Carolina. Hi, I'm John Malos, and welcome to Connect With Me. We are live on the showroom floor at Ventura TV as usual. Today, we are once again going to address the issue of gun control here, not only in the state of California, but around the country. Again, in the studio, we have two guests. Your phone calls are encouraged, 265-4331. We're back in just a momento. Just going to warn you now uh, that this monologue segment will be just a little bit longer than normal because I need to properly set this up today. Last week we had Ron Saul and Alan Chia in here talking about gun control. It's only a half hour show. We ran out of time. We couldn't even take some phone calls and the debate rages on about gun control. What is proper? What isn't? And the big debate right now, not only in this state of California, but around the country are these high capacity magazines right here. This one holds 30 bullets. Uh, this one holds quite a few less, so that's the debate raging on. Uh, this one they want to make illegal around the country. This one is already illegal in the state of California. You can only use a magazine here in California or a clip that has uh, 10 bullets. That's the rule, but they want to make this legal around the country. And so yesterday, in his State of the Union address, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said this about these high capacity magazines and gun control. Take a listen. We need a gun policy in this state that is reasonable, that is balanced, that is measured. We respect hunters and sportsmen. This is not taking away people's guns. I own a gun. I own a Remington shotgun. I've hunted. I've shot. That's not what this is about. It is about ending the unnecessary risk of high-capacity assault rifles. That's what this is about. We have a seven-point agenda. Number one, enact the toughest assault weapon ban in the nation, period. Number two, close the private sale loophole by requiring federal background checks. Number three, ban high capacity magazines. Number four, enact tougher penalties for illegal gun use, guns on school grounds and violent gangs. Number five, keep guns from people who are mentally ill. Number six, ban direct internet sales of ammunition in New York. Number seven, create a state NICS check on all ammunition purchases. Andrew Cuomo uh, talking about uh, these, the assault rifles, the semi-automatic weapons. He wants uh, some of these banned around the country. That was the focal point of his speech, State of the Union, uh, yesterday in New York. You can see this uh, assault rifle right here, and they're talking about the clips. This is a 30-bullet um, clip right here, and they want to... Uh, tailor it down to about uh, 10 bullets right here uh, in the state of California. That's already legal, but they want to do that around the country. We're going to be talking about that, and we're also going to be talking about Brian Lee. He's the pharmacist in Madeira yesterday who pulled out his handgun. Very uh, handgun is very similar to this one. He had a 10-bullet clip. He changed clips shot the suspect dead, one got away, he was captured yesterday. We'll talk about that. In the meantime, we will put up on the screen some of the recent shootings that have taken place in America. Mass shootings, more than 151 people 
were either injured or killed in mass shootings around the country last year. These are just some of the recent ones. Of course, Newtown, Connecticut, uh, 26 dead, 20 children. In Oregon, two were killed. Minneapolis, five were killed. In Wisconsin, six uh, Sikhs were killed. In Aurora, Colorado, very famous one. Uh, people around the world know about that one. Twelve people were gunned down. Live in our studio right now is, of course, Alan Chia. He is in favor of gun control. And Ron Saul, he is the owner of the range in northwest Fresno. It's right over there by Costco uh, near Highway 99. The debate rages on. We have a phone call already coming in. Your phone calls are encouraged. 265-4331. We're back with our two guests in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new fast, efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance, you'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99, and this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Welcome back. Your phone calls are encouraged. 265-4331. The last time we had this debate, we didn't have enough time, so Alan Chia is back. Ron Saul is back. Good to have you here. The question that I have right off the bat, and I want to get to it, it's the high-capacity magazines, one like this one. This one holds what, Ron? 20 bullets or 10? 20. 20, okay. But the, around the country, they want to get it down to 10. They want to legalize it and ban this one altogether. Let me ask you, Alan, are we, the question that I have is, and, and I don't want to be splitting hairs here on this show today, but if we ban this 30 bullet magazine, mm -hmm. are we going to be a safe, safer society? I think so. In, uh, and why? Okay, first let's identify what the, prob the problems that we're dealing with is. First, we have a spate of mass killings. And, and I emphasize the word mass. And then we have an epidemic of gun violence. Right? We have 31,000 murders a year due to guns, and two-thirds of homicides or murders are from guns. How is this so going to solve the problem, though, it, if you eliminate this? You know, we're talking, it depends on what you mean by solving the problem. What we're trying to do is minimize, minimize mass killings. And you can't disagree that if you have 30 rounds, you can kill more en masse than you can with 10 rounds. So. It's not a matter of splitting hairs. Ron, 30 Ron. rounds will kill more yeah. people yeah, than ahead. 10 rounds. Is, you know, the question you, everyone needs to ask themselves if I am trying to protect myself, if I'm trying to protect my family, if someone is trying to kill me, will I be safer with a standard high capacity magazine or will I be limited to 10 rounds to save my life and the, and the lover, love, love, loved ones that uh, I'm trying to protect as well. And that, that's what it comes down to. The government is limiting us to 10 rounds. They're telling you we can protect ourselves, we can use a handgun or a rifle to protect ourselves, but you're limited to 10 cartridges. Let's take a quick call here. Good morning, you're on Connect With Me. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Good. What's your question, sir? Oh, I just, uh, oh, just the, the terminology of what the uh, what the host and Alan Chi keep the... Uh, You're going to have to either turn it up or speak up, please. Go ahead. Oh. Well, they keep using the word assault weapon, and that's not really the case. It's not really an assault weapon. So, okay. Right. I mean, it, it's, it's, the it's, that's and the terminology need to, need uh, to change. Yeah. Okay. I, I think you're, you're exactly right. It is not an assault weapon. It's a defensive rifle. This is not... Uh, if you look at what a military is uh, using, the types of weapons, the, the machine guns, the heavy weapons, the, a rifle is a defensive uh, well, weapon. I'm sorry, I, I have to, I beg to disagree because the M I mean, the AR-15s is sort of like a derivative of the M-16. Why do military why weapons are not used when they go overseas? That, that they're used to kill people. That is clearly a. What are they used for? That is clearly a. Uh, do they go there? Tells you. Let, let me just okay. finish. You see, you do not understand weapons, and you do not you do not understand the uh, the difference between an assault weapon, which is using for account, uh, uh, attacking, versus defensive purposes. And why do? By the way, why do police 
why do if, if you're true if you are correct that they are designed to kill why do police carry them do, do our police go out there and kill people, or do they defend themselves I don't, I, I don't, and others? I, I don't think you can why, classify. First why, of all, this is I don't think a, we should go down the road of defining. For, well, this is a law enforcement no, no, no. weapon. We're, we're getting away from the subject and, 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 defend, the, and does the does issue. Kill? We're getting away from the issue. By, yeah. by, by going mm -hmm. through the terminology of assault or not assault, it's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about what it does. What it and if you look right. at the, you look at the recent massacres, you look at the recent massacres. What did it do? It assaulted all those people that were there. What it, about the, what the, about the killer? Let's the talk killer about did not what go there. In Matera, two the nights killer ago. did not go there to defend a himself. A man used a weapon to save himself and his mother. Fine. Why? Because he had a handgun. Let's Was that talk. weapon to kill or to defend? Let's talk. Great debate. Let's talk, though. Let, let me just let me just inter interject here just for a minute. I want to set the scene here. Uh, two days ago, Brian Lee, he's a pharmacist in the city of Madera. He was closing up. It was about 6.30 at night, uh, allegedly so. Two suspects uh, went through the door. They started shooting. Uh, I don't know what they were looking for, but apparently, according to Brian Lee, they were looking to shoot and kill him and his mother. So what did Brian Lee do? Well, he had his weapon, he had a gun, very similar to this, a handgun, with a clip that had 10 bullets. He fired shots, he had to change clips immediately on a dime within a split second while he was being shot at. He shot one of the suspects in the face, he died, and also the second suspect got away, but he was captured uh, uh, I think yesterday or last night. So, Ron, you're saying what about that incident? Well, I, I've talked to uh, Brian, and by the way, he's obviously a very skilled uh, shooter. Uh, more, uh, you know, he is a unique uh, example. Uh, he's very, very lucky. But your point was you wish he had a clip that had more bullets. Well, it only makes sense, okay? If it, if because a weapon, why? Because why? Let me just uh, demonstrate. Sure. This sure. weapon is designed to, was designed from the beginning for a, with a magazine that holds 15 rounds. But in California, it is only illegal to have a, a, a 10 round. So the question is, if you are being attacked by two armed criminals, that, by the way, have illegal weapons with them, doesn't bother to them uh, to, to, to obey, obey the law. The question is, are you safer with a 15 rounds or are you safer with 10? And I think it's obvious. Let, let Alan chip in here and, and go ahead, Alan. Well, okay, the first thing is apparently Ryan Lee was successful in foiling the perpetrators with his 10 rounds. Right. Okay. Now, you can always argue it would have been better with 15 rounds, but the point is he was able to foil his perpetrators, number one. And number two, <laughs> I think, I, 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 well, I mean, it's obvious. So, so you're two, saying that it's finish. fine, that, he doesn't, that, that we should finish. only issue 10 rounds? No, I'm just saying he was successful in foiling his perpetrators. That's just the What fact. would you, if you, if you were in his let, position, let, let me if finish you were in Brian's point. position, let me finish would my you point. want 10 rounds or 15? We're getting, by, 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 would by, you want 10 or 15? by reviewing these anecdotal instances, it gets away from the big picture of mass killings. We got to focus on mass killings. That's what the problem is. We're focusing is. on reality. And and when 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 people have high capacity clips, they have the greater potential of killing more people than not. We're not talking about defense. That's fine. Defense is is good. But the problem is the mass killings are occurring from an off offensive perspective, not a defensive perspective. If a, if a criminal has a high cap magazine and you want to defend yourself, what do you want to defend yourself with? A low capacity magazine? Well, y you can say on an individual basis, but you have to take a look at the aggregate picture. The aggregate picture just is that, the, no, no, the, this, this, this is part of the answer because the, 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 the individual answer is that, okay, this it might be good for this person, but the aggregate picture is that more people are using these high capacity things not for defense, but for killing, for offense. Well, you, that's the issue. Let's break on that point because we're long, but we're going to come back with more of our program on gun control. Ron Saul, Alan Chia, 265-4331. I see we do have a phone call. Sorry we haven't gotten to you yet, but be patient. We will get to it. We're back in a minute. Weeknights on MeTV. <laughs> Who loves you, baby? You shouldn't ask. It's Kojak. Well, it sounds like music to my ears. On MeTV. Look at me. Why do we love him? 
Maybe it's the way I comb my hair. Or maybe it's his trusty right-hand man. More bite? Crocker! 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 Kojak! <laughs> I, I just wanted to hear how it sounded. Telly Savalas is Kojak. Story of my life, baby. Weeknights at 12, 30, 11, 30 Central on MeTV. Who loves you? And how appropriate. We have some breaking news here. You may have already heard about it, but of course, uh, this coming out of Taft Union High School in Kern County this morning that uh, a shooter apparently shot two people at that uh, high school uh, in Kern County. It happened about uh, 9 o'clock this morning in Bakersfield, and so we don't have too much more information about that. And so how appropriate that we have another school shooting yes. right in our own backyard. And so that leads me to my next question. We talked about the high clip, uh, high capacity magazines. Let me ask you, would you be in favor of hiring uh, or placing a security guard in each classroom or outside of each classroom in every school in America? Armed. Armed. Okay, b b before I answer that question, I think what we have really have to establish is, and I'm not just, I, I don't want to presume to know what uh, Ron's solutions are, but, you know, in terms of this, the, the problem with the mass violence, right, and the, and the gun violence, it seems like Ron's proposal is that you have more guns to stop it and higher capacity clips. And my, my, my position is that you ban, you know, assault weapons is not my term. I don't know who gave the term assault weapons, but that's how you, you, you identify these particular weapons. So ban assault weapons and ban high capacity clips. Because that's your position. That's my position. Okay, but and wait a minute. Okay. If you want to solve the problem, then you've got to do a national database of gun owners. And you cre and, and how you about bullets? Yes, a, nat a national and, database. And, and that does what? Because well, I, I can t I can give you a description because if so, you look so at the, now you have if you a look list at the profiles, of law-abiding citizens. No, no. If you look at the profiles of how does that stop anything? If you look at the profiles of these mass murderers, there was uh, I think it was James Holmes that bought 6,300 rounds of ammunition. Okay. Well, well, there was another th th the other mass murderers. There was evidence of them recently, just prior to the mass killings, buying an excessive amount of weapons and an excessive amount. Okay, I don't so want to get into the same situation. Let's, let's right. register the, of the okay. weapons you can and pull out let's that information, pick and then up. you can focus we've, on these. We've people. veered away from the question: Would you be in favor of of hiring uh, an armed guard outside of each classroom in America? Well, really, I mean, I think from a yes. person. Okay. <laughs> I, I think in terms of favoring our armed guard, you can do that, but let's talk Would about... Would it make us safer? Well, I, I don't think so, because think about this. Then why do it? Think about if you, this. If you believe that, why, why, why do it if it won't make us safer? I didn't say uh, we should do it. Okay, all right. You're saying that <laughs> we shouldn't do it. Yeah, I, I'm saying it's not so effective. So the next okay. time a man... No, no, man no, 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 no. Next no, no. A man Are you in favor of that, Ron? Absolutely. Let me tell you why. No, okay. I have to tell you. Okay. The next time someone comes into a store... A, a, a store, a, a school, a business, or your home, you need to be prepared. And, and our, it, is, it is unthinkable that the schools have not considered Look at what Columbine security. Israel Virginia does Tech it. And Fort Hood. So Virginia Tech had their own, had, you know, campus they do police. Now. No, no, they've always had campus police. And they, they still was. But I'm Fort talking Hood about having an armed guard still, outside of each classroom. That's the analogy. Yeah. That wouldn't there will all be. That, that is the analogy. There will Fort always Hood be had bad military guys people and only there, and they still wasn't able to stop the mass killings. Okay. If you had an armed guard, what do you think a, a perpetrator would do? First thing they'll do is take out the armed guard. Let's get the audience involved here. Let's take a quick phone call. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. How are you? Good morning. I was calling to try and find out why is everybody beating on this mass thing about these high capacity clips? What's the difference between a guy going into a school with a nine shot clip? A friend of mine told me years ago you can take a gun, load it, pull the hammer back, and put it on the table right in front of your son, and that gun will never jump up and shoot somebody. That's right. I don't Takes understand what the whole guy. thing, what this whole panic thing is. If somebody's intent on doing something, there is nothing in this world people are going to be able to do to stop it. And the media is just feeding off of the, the fear tactics. Question. Go ahead. Alan, pick it up. Thank okay. you. Appreciate the Thank call. You. The issue is not stopping people from killing. People will always kill people with whatever means possible. The issue is how much, how many people they can kill. 
and with high capacity clips, they can kill a lot more people. So you're, what you're saying, let me understand clearly what you're saying. You're saying with a high capacity magazine, more people will be killed instead of fewer people. In a mass murder situation, yes, you'll be able to conduct, uh, commit mass murder as opposed to having the handgun as the cause. And you're suggested. saying that's not true. No. And, and, and I, I think it comes from perspective. Let, let me ask you, do you own a gun? No, I don't. Okay. If, you, if you, someone was trying to kill you, would you use a gun to defend yourself? Probably. You're not sure? Well, let's that's put something you'd have to think about. Someone's trying to kill you. You have at you. You could yeah. you could defend yourself with a gun. That's something you'd like to think about. You see that that's the craziness that we deal with. They we no, would no, rather no. have the bad guys. Not everybody have has guns. the kind of capacity what, you what have. What they want is that the Some good people guys have difficulty should be killing from people. Defend themselves. It takes a good guy with a gun to defend yourself. But would society. you would you concede the point that not everybody is equipped? Exactly. Not, and wait a minute, let me rephrase that. Not every good guy is equipped to handle a gun or defend himself or herself because Clearly, of, of, of a right. number of reasons. Maybe maybe spiritually, maybe they believe in God, they don't believe in killing. So kill me instead, exactly. I'm not gonna what, kill you. There will always be, so, so, will always so you have a certain amount right. of people who are not <clears throat> equipped John, there are always going to be the uh, the people, the, the 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 sheep of our society that would rather be ignore the danger. Well, danger. I think it's a little but bit unfair to call these frankly, people sheep. No, I don't. There's not. That's not. That's not a bad thing at all. It's well, just of course, it is. The connotation that, is definitely bad. These are bad. people that 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 are very uh, nonviolent. But at the same time, thank God for the ship sheep dogs that will protect those people I, I do wanna, with, with I, guns. I, I know I have to wrap, but I want to take one more call before the break, because the audience is important, too. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. How are you? Okay. Good. Quick, what's your question? Uh, yes, I just think that they should have uh, basically uh, tougher penalties and more education for themselves. Okay. We provide right. that. Yeah. yeah. I encourage you to come out to the range and, and, and avail yourself that type of training. Right. Training is important if you're going to apply for a gun or a gun permit or a concealed weapons permit or whatever the case may be. you got to have the proper training on how to handle the gun, how to store the gun, how to clean it, how to shoot it, how to take care of it. Brian we're, didn't, we're uh, yeah, didn't right. survive we're, because of that. It was because of training. Right. We're back in just a moment. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the low-priced, leading brand's reliable advice place. The Whirlpool Dream Kitchen Get Yours Today Place. Check this out. Right now, get huge savings on select Whirlpool appliances and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. I do want to put up on the screen real quick the Second Amendment and what it says. Let's read it. It's, it's, it's not very long at all. You can just read it for yourself right there. Uh, it says, a well-regulated militia uh, being necessary to secure of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms <coughs> shall not be infringed. Uh, Ron, what does that Second Amendment mean to you? You know, I, I've, I've uh, had the advantage of reading the uh, U.S. Supreme Court decision. Uh, that's called Heller. I encourage you, if you want to find out exactly what that means, the court has handled that question. And it means this. Our, seven, uh, our, our Second Amendment right is, is individual right. It means it is our right. It does not belong to a, a malicious militia. In fact, it is designed to protect us from government uh, militias. And I think that that, that, that is really... Um, what it applies to, and then what it, if you read what it's talking about, it's talking about the type of rifles that someone might have uh, in the military. Your interpretation of the Second Amendment is what, Alan? Well, I'm glad uh, Ron brought up the issue of uh, District of Columbia versus Heller in 2008. This is also what the Supreme Court held in that uh, finding. Like most rights, the Second Amendment right is not unlimited. It is not a right to carry, keep and carry any weapon whatsoever in any manner whatsoever and for whatever purpose. For, in, for example, concealed weapons prohibitions have been upheld under the amendment or state analogs. The court's opinion should not be taken, well, 
whatever. But anyway, the most important thing is it says the Second Amendment right is not unlimited. It is not to keep right, and it carry. Doesn't, it doesn't apply page to Page 54 and people. 56. Yeah, I if someone is mentally disturbed, th of course they're not allowed to have Yeah, but it, does, it, did, if they it are did not qualify. It. All it right, said of was it is not the right to keep. A and if you're an originalist or a textualist, right. the interpretation right. is but you're not allowed to carry any, all, any kind of weapon any time you want. Right, but every and that day includes people like assault us, rifles. law-abiding citizens, have a right to carry. No, no, but but, but you're, you're, you're getting away from Heller. You quoted with me. Heller. How are you? Keep Heller. How are you? Hello? Yeah, hello. You're on the air. Quickly, what's your question? Okay. Well, hey, why don't they just register the high capacity clips? Oh, that's a oh. good question. I don't know. Yeah. For what? Yeah. To, so that we can uh, now go around and, and well, take law abiding take citizens? If you, if you take the high capacity clip away from everybody else, then you go in the black market. And there you go. So there you go. So right now, so the government, so the, so the so the uh, criminals will go to the black market, and they will high caps. But all of the uh, good guys, they'll be limited to uh, ten rounds. Or if they don't comply and if they don't register, then now the good guys get to go to jail, and the uh, bad guys get to go out and kill. That's you be in favor sense. of that no, registering no, these. Th that's a nice scenario. Would you would you like to legalize these in California if you could register no. them? No. Here, okay. here, here's, here's, the, here's the problem. What you have to do is, if you have a problem with mass killings, you've got to look at the mass killings and the profile of the people engaged in mass killings. And the people who bought those guns and bought those magazines, they didn't necessarily buy from the black market. They bought it from the Internet and in situations where there is no background check. Okay? Another, another call. Good morning. You're on Connect with me. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Quickly, what's your question? Almost out of time. Um, my question to the, the guy in the middle there is basically the ICAP magazine has nothing to do with it. This is just crazy Speak up. people out doing. This is just crazy people out doing crazy things. You can't blame these magazines for this. You know, he surely would cap, carry a high cap magazine if somebody was trying to invade his home. He's acting like he wouldn't, but he definitely would prefer one. All right. I appreciate the phone call. Thank you very much. That's a, that is a good point. But how do you keep the but other question I had is well, let's, let's look okay, at but, but, but let me ask. They used a high cap. He's a criminal. He's a uh, convinced, con convicted felon. Where did he get his gun? We're how come his? How didn't the existing laws stop him? The because fact is, no laws do not stop no, criminals. Because the existing, you get forty percent of the gun purchase and everything has no background check, no records, that, that, nothing. That is 60 absolutely. Sixty percent does. That is absolutely because 60 wrong. Because sixty percent, no, that is. That is look at the statistics. Wrong. I can. I have references right I, here. If you want to look at. Yeah, I run. I run a gun shop. Yes, and you're I can a licensed tell you dealer. Every gun that goes through because there. Because you are background. a licensed dealer. Licensed dealer do background checks. There are people in all these loopholes where they don't. Private purchases, do really internet think, purchases, do really gun Aileen, shows. who is now dead, thank God, who's, who, uh, who tried to kill a man and his mother, do you think that he was going to register his gun? Do you think he went to a, uh, took advantage of a loophole? No, he's a mur murderer. And the bottom line the is the bottom line is is that if you chose, got his if gun. you chose to defend yourself, you would be limited to a magazine that you would you, be, know, we, you would have. We still time. haven't answered the question, how do you keep the guns out of the hands of the bad guys? And number two, how do you keep the guns out of the hands of those who are mentally and emotionally unstable? And here's the it, answer. What's the, here, here's yes. the answer? What's the answer? Wayne Lapierre called for a national database of the mentally ill. Oh, well, we'll get the criminals states, to register. 38 states have a database, okay? Now, if you, cry, if, if you had a national database of the mentally ill, you have a national database Isn't of... Isn't that infringing on someone's rights, though? Right to privacy? Okay, well, what, then, then what would you prefer? You're, you're saying, okay... I don't know. I'm just okay. asking a question, that's all. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that I mean, infringing on rights is a different issue. These right. Are, these are the possible solutions. Then you've got to debate all the, the, the rights, civil rights, and civil liberties of people. But if you're in a national ba database of, of the uh, mentally ill, if, if you, you have a or Ron, database of gun uh, but if, gun But purchases. I guess what I'm saying is if you or Ron are seeing a psychologist, and, and I run into that psychologist at the mall or at Starbucks, she or he cannot legally tell me whether or not you're a client or you're a client. It's yeah. infringing on someone's rights, is okay. what I'm saying. I, I, I don't, no, I don't disagree. I, I think that, I think that uh, you know, do, do we want a uh, 
mentally ill person have a gun? No. Absolutely well, no. Of course not. But the point there is... There are 38 states point is, that... Do we want to get cut off the air? There, no, we there, don't. There are 38 <laughs> states... We're out of time. Go there ahead. There are 38 states that already have that. Uh, now, uh, they are obviously have addressed the issue of infringing on personal rights. Thank you. There are a lot of okay. things, even guns, it's a, it has a question on infringing on personal rights. we got to go or I'm in trouble. We're going to get cut off. We're going to network. We're back tomorrow with Holly Carter. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, half hour's not enough.